Does God occupy first place in your life? In Matthew 22, an expert in the law tested Jesus with this question. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There should be no other primary allegiance, not to America, not to a political party, not to the great state of Texas, not to a cause, not to our land, not even to our families. Jesus said, if anyone comes to me and does not hate father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, even their own life, such a person cannot be my disciple, Luke 14. In other words, our love for God must be so great that it looks like hate for anything or anyone else. Let me ask you, is that the kind of love you have for Jesus? Is he your all-consuming passion in this life? Oh, many say he's first, but their actions betray them. Vladimir Lenin implemented communism in the Soviet Union. During the early 1900s, he met with a small group of people in London and set down four totals for the cause of communism. Number one, total acceptance of the cause. Number two, total dedication to the cause. Number three, total discipline in the cause. And number four, total action for the cause. This is how our love for God should look. Total. Now, how to love your neighbor? Well, here's 10 ways to do it. How to love your neighbor as yourself. Number one, think the best of a person. Number two, give them the benefit of the doubt. Number three, don't harbor grudges. Number four, forgive them from the heart. Number five, be generous. Number six, be understanding. Seven, be gracious. Eight, offer a compliment. Nine, pray for them. Ten, go beyond those prior nine and bless them. Clear enough? That was the Poke in the Eye devotional for February 3rd, 2024. I'm Steve Sanchez, pastor at Solid Rock Bible Church in Johnson City, Texas. You can read these devotionals at stonethepreacher.com Visit our church's website at solidrockbiblechurchjc.org. I hope this poke in the eye helps you to see God a little more clearly today.